If you feel like you only know how to use about 20% of Atoll's features, but would like to expand that knowledge, you should definitely try Animbot. In Anambot, pretty much every tool has a pop-up that explains what it does and has a nice little GIF snippet of the behavior. On average, an animator will be using four times more tools on Anambot than on Atools. You can easily assign hotkeys to every tool available in Anambot, in addition to having the ability to add it to your custom shelf. Anambot was built from the ground up and, as a result, it performs up to six times faster than Atools. New tools like Copyax Form helps you reposition controls in any space, eliminating the need for locators. Smart Euler Filter prevents up to 90% of those nasty gimbal locks. Polish Tangent applies a natural flow to your animation curves with a click of a button. Cycle Match Tangent helps when working with animation cycles. Time Bookmarks and Color Keys are your best weapons for organizing and navigating your scene and the sliders. Animbot is packed with a wide variety of new sliders such as Blend to Buffer, Blend to Ease, Blend to Infinity, Time Offsetter, Simplify and Bake Keys, Smooth and Rough, Mirror Sliders, and of course Blend Keys in World Space. It doesn't matter if you're a professional animator or just starting up. Organize and customize your toolbar however you see fit with Animbot's Workspace tool. The mirror tool now works in 99.99% .99 of the rigs and it has never been more powerful, giving you the ability to mirror an entire pose or even an entire animation with just a click. The sliders have a more attractive design and, in combination with hotkeys, overshoots and the new hovering pop-up, will help you animate considerably faster. Formerly known as Fake Constraint, XForm Relationship has a wide new range of functionality. It has the ability to copy and paste the relationship between controls in one or more keys. All this is done in real time, without the need for constraints. Select Sets was another tool that was revamped and now has the ability to export and import sets. Also, it now has very little visual impact since it's semi-transparent and can be positioned anywhere due to its floating UI. Motion Trail is three times faster and works with Viewport 2.0. In addition, it has new options such as Camera Space, giving you the ability to track movements based on an animated camera's perspective, Orientation Tracking to help you see how an object is rotating, and Spacing Temperature, which makes it a lot easier to see spacing in your animation. Animation Copier gave origin to Copy Pose and Copy Animation, where it's possible to export and import animation using a much more intelligent algorithm. Space Switcher was substituted by Attribute Switcher with a new design and new functions, such as being able to change rotation order to eliminate those pesky gimbal locks once and for all. It also got a new floating window that showcases all the switches your character has. Animbot's animation recovery not only helps you recover an animation in case of a crash, but it also has the ability to time travel. Nine in every ten production studios are using Animbot, and some even require previous experience with the tool as an extra ability in your resume. With the ease of access to information and hundreds of animators graduating each year, being able to meet your deadlines with quality animation has never been more important. Animbots is amazing. It's become such a huge part of my at-home workflow. I couldn't imagine animating without it. Hey, uh, I just wanted to say thank you for making Animbot. It's such an amazing tool. I use it all the time when I'm teaching. Uh, it, it makes working in Maya so much easier. Uh, so thank you. Animbot. So my name is Shad Bradbury. I've been animating for about 15 years professionally at places like Pixar, Sony, uh, Tippet, Rhythm and Hues. Um, and right now I'm directing a short called uh, Run Toti Run. All of the tools that Animbot has uh, mirror what most of the studios have, at, at least that I've worked at, especially places like Sony. Um, and they also make your life so much easier. So for the short that we're working on now, we're definitely using Animbot. Um, it, you know, it saves our life half the time when 
an animator animate something messy and then we can kind of untangle their mess quite easily with Animal. So I definitely recommend it. My name is Joseph Holmark. If you don't know, Animbots are a collection of animation tools uh, all in one package that will save a lot of animators a lot of time. It would save me, I would say, anywhere from two to three hours a day. I highly, highly recommend it. It's been part of my workflow since a Tuesday. It doesn't matter what workflow you have, uh, it will always have something to either enhance your workflow or just speed it up. I highly, highly recommend it. Give it a try and uh, uh, keep on animating. Animbot is an awesome set of tools. It allows me to focus more on the creative side of animation by working in the 3D viewer posing my shot out. I don't have to go many hunting for tools, searching, spending time. Everything is laid out there and it makes things easier, simpler, and faster. Hi, my name is Ben Rush. I'm an animator and uh, my user for a number of years. I have to say, uh, as anim tool sets go, there is no more robust or intuitive um, animation tool set than an anim bot by Alan Camilo. Um, if you haven't given this a try, please do. Uh, all the tools that you need um, to come up with a great piece of animation are there, uh, laid out in a beautiful interface. Um, give it a try, you guys, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Hi, my name is Viola and I'm an animator for feature films. Anyone who's ever worked in Maya knows all the frustrations and limitations. <laughs> Uh, my background is 2D animation, so uh, for me it was hard to get used to the limitations of 3D and Maya. When I made the transition to 3D, I um, found myself often struggling with uh, rigs and especially also with the tools and the program. I was really surprised um, by the fact of how few native Maya tools you have there as an animator to do your job. When I first stumbled over Alan's tools, I was like, let's give it a try. Little did I know how much it changed my life. Animbot. I'm not saying Animbot helped me become a better animator, but maybe it did. It definitely made me a faster animator. Uh huh. I would say I'm like a third faster with Animbot than without. You can focus all your energy on the 12 principles of animation or um, on your acting or physics or whatever field you want to improve and not battle every day with issues and limitations that the software gives you because that's not what animation is about and that's not what should be occupying our time. Animbot is my way to go. The development of ATools has reached an end in 2015 and some of its tools, such as the Motion Trail, don't work with the more recent Maya versions, not to mention it's only compatible with Python too. On the other hand, Animbot is still in full development and is compatible with both Python 2 and 3. There are speculations that Maya 2021 will use Python 3 by default, which means that on that version forward, ATools will not work. Furthermore, it is expected that in approximately two years, most of the studio pipelines will have migrated to Python 3, resulting in the official end to ATools.